Hello art friends, my name is Fleshwad, and today I have a couple of stories about being stalked for you. Enjoy. I found a subreddit devoted to my life, posted by you slash that really short chick. I know this is going to make me sound crazy. I know I don't have any proof of it existing anymore, but I feel like if I don't tell someone, I really am going to go insane. Let me start from the beginning. My name is Mary Jane Matthews, and I found a subreddit devoted to my life. I don't know who created it or why they are so obsessed with me, but now I don't even know how to show the cops because it's gone. It's like it never existed. The subreddit was titled by my name, and before you say I created it, I absolutely did not. I prefer to remain anonymous on here, but I don't think that it matters anymore now that my stalker is coming for me soon. The weirdest part was that it had a lot of subscribers, but all of their usernames were just long chains of numbers and letters scrambled together. If I clicked on their names to see their profile, I was instantly met with an error symbol. Same with the only moderator that was shown. I am completely in the dark about who created the sub and who is coming after me. The about section of the sub was just facts about my life, that went all the way back to my birth. It took hours to scroll through. The posts ranged from selfies I had posted all the way to pictures from my laptop webcam that I had not taken myself. There were voice recordings of conversations I had over the phone with friends, Snapchat videos that were sent to my friends and did not posted on my public story, and even a sex tape that I had made with an ex-boyfriend that should have only ever been on my camera it was recorded with. That's not even including all the pictures of my locks of hair, chewed gum, and even used tampons. I threw up till my throat was burning after seeing that. At first, I thought this person had to be incredibly close to me as I've never noticed anyone else I don't know doing anything strange. I've never noticed anything in my house out of place as if someone had broken in, and I live alone. I've always felt safe in my house and wherever I went, I have absolutely no idea how they got all of this. All of my friends and exes are angry at me for accusing them of being the stalker. All of my family lives across the country since I moved away for college and never really went back. I haven't left my house in weeks, and I keep hearing things. It sounds like someone walking around, but when I go look, no one is there. I know it's probably from my lack of sleep and that I should leave my house but I am absolutely terrified to leave. I deleted all of my social media and even turned off my Wi-Fi. I don't know what to do, but I know I'm not going to be alive long. I guess this is sort of like a goodbye letter, but I've never been good at expressing feelings. The only feeling I can express now is fear. This account I created was my stupid attempt at throwing them off, but they know it's me. After I upload this post with my phone, I'm going to turn it off. I know they are coming for me, and this will only make them angrier. They may already be here, and it may be their footsteps I keep hearing. Actually, I think the footsteps are starting to become more like angry stomping. So I think I'm going to end this here. If you believe in God, please pray for me, because I know I will be doing a lot of it myself. Edit. Here's a link to an update. I wasn't planning on giving an update, mainly because I thought I would be dead by now, but I figured it was time for one. I got a lot of comments on my last post, and I'm very grateful for the advice. I honestly didn't expect many people to take me seriously, so thank you to the ones who did. Maybe that's why they only never let me post on r slash no sleep. They probably think no one will believe me. But luckily, some of you did. Last time I left off, I said I was going to turn off my phone. I did for about four hours, but they never came for me. I still heard the footsteps, but they never came any closer. I tiptoed around the house where I didn't hear the steps and looked out the window to make sure they were alone. I even got enough courage to try and open my back door. Guess what? Locked. So is my front door and all of the windows I can get to. 
I decided to turn my phone back on and attempt to contact someone. I tried the cops first. I knew I would sound crazy to them, but they could at least help save me from the person stalking me in my own home. As I dialed the number, I mentally prepared myself and tried to calm my breathing. I moved as far away from the noise of the footsteps as I could, so they maybe wouldn't be able to hear me. I was going to have to be quick and to the point. As soon as I was about to dial the last one in 911, I heard what sounded like someone running down the hall. For some crazy reason, I panicked and threw my phone towards where the heavy steps were coming from. Then I ran into the closet nearest to me and waited. After about 30 minutes of absolute silence and me almost hyperventilating, I got the courage to crack the door open. I put my ear to it first to listen for any noises, then slowly cracked it. I slowly started to inch it open more, as I realized no one was in my room with me. When I walked out, I noticed that my phone was sitting on the coffee table instead of being smashed on the floor where I threw it. It was open to Reddit, but I quickly clicked to my home page. I tried over and over to open my calling app, but it didn't work. Neither would text messaging or any other app. The only thing that worked was Reddit. So that's when I started typing this. I'm completely unable to contact anyone. The only rooms I can move around in are my kitchen, living room, and laundry room. They are somewhere down the hall that leads to the rest of my house. I'm too scared to go searching down there. All I have are kitchen knives, and I don't know what they have to use against me. I definitely don't understand why they haven't come after me yet. If anything new happens, I guess I'll let you guys know. If you have any advice for me, please comment it. I think any little bit will help at this point. I'm a Twitch streamer and I have a crazed stalker. Posted by you slash silence hacker. I've been a Twitch streamer ever since my YouTube channel got permanently suspended after some questionable decisions I've made. Despite this, my loyal fans still follow me wherever I go on the digital landscape we call the internet. Especially this one obsessed fan I've recently received numerous emails from. Usually, I just ignore them, but the emails have started to become a little… strange, to say the least. The first couple two or three emails were innocent fan messages about my gaming skills and little inside jokes I have with my audience. But the next one was a little more than just an inside joke. Why don't you respond to my messages? I love the game Doom Eternal, and I think you should try it on stream sometime if you haven't already. Even though I know you mostly play multiplayer games, I just love watching your streams and I love the brown reclining chair you have in your living room. Winky face. Now obviously, I thought this was a troll email from a fan who just desperately wanted to get my attention, so I ignored it. But then the emails got more specific. The next one was, Are you still ignoring me? I was wondering if you were willing to let me come over to hang out. We can do a 24 hour stream together. I'll come over on the 24th, so be ready for me, Alex. This email was the one that told me something was up. He knew me by my middle name. My middle name. I've never shared that information with anybody, though I figured it wouldn't be hard for someone to find out my full name if they did enough research. So I figured he or she was just trying to grab my attention again. A part of me was really tense about the date he chose to tell me about. The 24th. That's my birthday. I never told my audience about it because I wanted it to be a surprise when I announced how old I was turning. The day my birthday came around, I was sitting on stream with my chat watching YouTube, and I heard a knock at my door. When I went downstairs to open the door, all I saw was a wrapped gif with the words, Happy Birthday written on it, from my biggest fan. After I got the gift, I immediately went back to my room and I closed the stream. I was so scared I didn't even want to open the gift. Literally shaking, I pulled out my phone and called the police. When they came to investigate, they just took my name and didn't do anything else. They just told me, if he comes around again, just give us another call. I gave myself a moment to calm down, and then I made a tweet addressing my problem, and told my fans I'd have to quit streaming for a while until this is solved. Edit. Epic Gamer 26's girlfriend speaking. Since the night of his birthday, he's gone missing. If anyone has any information, please contact the appropriate authorities. I just want my boyfriend back. Being stalked. 
Posted by u slash gg 2020 xx I was about 18 and I got into a really short but violent relationship with an absolute omen. Being blunt, he was awful. He held a knife to my belly when I was pregnant. Then not long after I miscarried, shortly after around 16 weeks. He hated me. Absolutely everything that came from his mouth was poison. I felt like I was a mere mutt, and he was the master of sheer venom. Friends and family witnessed some. Anyway, things got heavy when I broke it off with him, because he locked my social worker in the house and we were both scared, and I tried to leave before but this time, I felt like a massive relief to finally be let out, because he was arrested and not just taken away to cool off. I went to stay with my family for months, and for ages this freak was just insane. It started off as phone calls, even when I blocked his number. I still received the notification, being an Android phone. I changed my number and he rang every person through Facebook who he met through me, or on the off chance I could be the person he was contacting, and that it could have been a high school friend or my mother, and a distant cousin, it was ridiculous. I had moved twice because in my first flat he would stare at my bedroom window, ringing my phone on all apps even when blocked. I'd go to my window for a cigarette and he was there in the communal garden, just looking up at me. This whole time I'm so freaked out and I still get that adrenaline of what the F is going on when I think about it. Well anyway, after three months at families, I decided to go back home to the new house because things had died down a bit close to Christmas and I figured he got the hint. Well no, he coincidentally added me from a Facebook account, a new account, and the harassment started. I went to an Xmas Eve party and he climbed my drain pipe. Thank God I wasn't there. Anyway, the death threats continued. Then it stopped. He moved on to a new girl. And it's been silent ever since. It's been seven years but I'm still on edge. And never feel safe even in a different house and area. Stuff like that stays with you. Even the missed calls for seven hours straight, I hate having a phone now. When I see more than three missed calls, my heart stops. And that is all of the stories. I hope you guys never have to deal with a stalker. Please be safe out there. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next video. Bye.